Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Radio Free Neo Terra. I'm here with Mike from Epic Studios. How are you doing? And we are going to be playing some Infinity. Um, we're going to be playing one of the missions. It'll be at Lords of War Weekend, which is on November 22nd. So if you want to come and play on some very pretty tables, actually my train will be there, the Lords of War guys' train will be there, um, and play against some very pretty armies, because everybody that shows up is a pretty good painter. Yeah. And the last event was a really cool event, like it just was. for paint jobs, those nomads. Yeah. Those are really nice. Yeah, I actually it. missed You're the Infinity nomads. Day, but also made oh, pretty. They were so pretty. We well, saw the photos. I, I saw the photos. photos, but it's not the same. It's, it's not the same, it's true. Um, but they're they're super pretty, um, and we'll have all kinds of cool sweet door prizes and raffles and stuff as well. So if you want to see some loot, there'll be some limited edition loot and some other cool things that are up for grabs, um, as well as just a fun four game ICS tournament. Um, now we'll be playing uh, what is it today? Lifeblood, yeah. which is from the mission pack. So we're going to be having to blow up some um, some supply crates, which we've already scattered around the table, and we're playing with your nomads, so we generic are. nomads against my generic Ariadna. Now if you guys want to come in and play Infinity, both Mike and I do play Infinity. You can email Mike at Epic Duck Studios at gmail.com or me at grill miniature games gmail.com and get in some games um, and play against these pretty armies and see them in person but right now we'll take you through the armies we'll show you the table and we'll get started so here we have wildcat with heavy rocket launcher cool we have mold brigada just a normal loadout some multi-rifle and light flamethrower then we have an aloe just a plain ordinary aloe the yeah. next one is an aloe paramedic cool with the purple um, hair um yeah purple hair is in paramedic so we're all over the place here. This is going to be a... Ba, 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 ba. Reverend Mother? Reverend no, Mother? sorry. Uh, Reverend Custodier Hacker with the right. marker. Cool. Uh, Grenzer Multi-Sniper. He's so good. Sin Eater Multi-Sniper. So good as well. Um, Ford Observer Aloisile. Yep. Another Paramedic Aloisile. Oh, no, sorry. That's the Clockmaker. That's the Clockmaker. I love his pants. He's got like the 1990s Circa Rave pants on. They're pretty amazing. Uh, actually, I may be missing <clears> one Aloisile. Yes, I am. I'm supposed to pull another one out. Anyway. Okay. There's another one sec. somewhere. Got it. Um, three regular Morlocks, so chain rifles and smoke grenades. Cool, and DA close combat weapons. And DA close combat weapons. That's important for <laughs> Those this. Those are one. important for this mission for sure. And then the Hellcat hacker. Yep. And a TO camel marker. All right, so there it is. There is Mike's beautifully painted nomads. I'm trying to get that in focus for you guys. Across the line. And Mike realizing that I was on his desk, so this interventor of mine is going to be standing in as an Iowa today. All right, so here is my 300 points of vanilla Ariadna. So what you can see is I have dog face, dog face. Actually, they should be little guys right now, but I like the big guy miniatures. Um, I have a dozer, two um, US Ariadna grunts. One's a para, one's an FO. I got a uh, Dr. Firax over there, which is the 112. Isabel McGregor, defensive hacker. Um, you shouldn't even be here. You're not supposed to know who he is. And then one, two, three, four, five, six camel markers. I have a Ford Observer, a Paramedic, and a regular Line Kazakh. And this is my HPT back here, Mr. Pensive, thinking his very important thoughts. So here we are set up for lifeblood somewhere in the Rocky Mountains of Ariadna. Those scummy nomads are coming for our stuff. We have all of our McDonald's crates here, full of McDonald's, because we're the only planet in existence still that has McDonald's. Because it was outlawed in the year 2122 for being too bad for you, but the US Ariadna said we had to have it still. Um, and we've already scattered our Perfect. crates. That's right. <laughs> we've already scattered our crates. Um, so we've got one, two, three, and da -da -da -da, four five, six crates, uh, and those crates are all searchable. So if you've searched more at the end of the game with your specialists, you get two VPs for that. And once you've searched them, you can destroy them, and every destroyed one is worth one objective point. So there's basically eight up for grabs, searching and destroying, um, and then you finally have your two classifieds, which you've already drawn, that allow us to um, achieve basically two more objective points. Now, we've tried to have a fairly consistently high set of train here, and all of our woods will be considered dense woods, which means they're infinitely high, and they are zero visibility zones. That's gonna help block up some line of sight as well. So there we are, set up for lifeblood. Uh, we'll make our willpower roll for setup. Willpower roll. So seeing who's going first, I fail spectacularly with a 19. And you, just don't, don't, don't roll high, and you'll be fine. And you pass. Deploy second. So you're going to deploy second, the Nomad's winning the roll for deployments, uh, and that means you uh, choose the zone as well that you're going to be deploying in and choose the zone I'm deploying in, and I can choose turn order. Okay. So which zone would you like? I will take this side of the work. Okay, so and you're going to sit over here. <laughs> Alright, there's good reasons, uh, so I'll start over here, and I'll be deploying first. Now for turn order, I'm going to decide to go first. All right, so here we are deployed. We have a Kazakh, we've got Dr. Firax and a Camel Marker, uh, a Grunt, a Dog Face, and Isabel hanging on this side. And then we've got a, a Camel Marker prone, a uh, prone paramedic, 
We have a prone FO, sorry, a regular FO and a regular dozer. And then we have cow marker. Prone cow marker, prone grunt, he's an FO grunt. And then we have, sorry, he's a paramedic grunt. No, he's an FO grunt, that's right. Um, we have another dog face, we have my HVT. Now across from us, or sorry, another cow marker, and another cow marker. <laughs> and then we have, across from us, we have um, a TO cow marker, which actually you don't have to deploy. You could have just hidden deployed there and I wouldn't know he was there. Sure enough. But, we didn't. <laughs> and then uh, on this side, I was seal, the Reverend Mother, uh, sorry, the Reverend um, Custodian. Custodian, that's right. Another I was seal. We have a uh, Grenzer. Uh, Grenzer? Is that the Grenzer? No, that's, that's the Grenzer. That's the Grenzer, that's right. It's the other one I'm thinking of. Um, we have the Noble Brigada, the one of the Morlocks. Morlocks, that's right. We have the Clockmaker. We have another I was seal. This is the Spectre? The Sin Eater Sniper. Sin Eater Sniper. Um, and then another Morlock, a Morlock, a. That's the Hellcat. Hellcat? Okay, with, with the, the rocket launcher. rocket launcher. And then down here we have a another another seal. And that's it. So we are deployed. Uh, and I am taking first turn. Order pools are filled up. I have three regular, two irregular, and two highly impetuous in the small group. And then ten in the large group plus my lieutenant order. Uh, would you like to use any command tokens? I will use one to strip two of your orders. From which pool? Um, the large pool. Okay, makes sense. Down to eight. Easy stuff first. We are going to... Move on up with our dog face. Uh, he's gonna have to go towards the nearest model. He's probably that guy over there. So he's gonna come around the corner uh, and head in a straight line towards that box. So that's gonna be four inches, which will place him here. Do you have any arrow? I do not. Okay. Um, no. Even at, here, let me just mark the original point. Nope. No, nope, you're not. still good? Okay, just double checking when I was further away, you couldn't yeah. see me. My second short skill, I'm gonna chuck a smoke grenade as far eight inches as possible over to here. So 17 or less, we'll put some smoke out. We 18 it, of course. Uh, we are gonna move towards the closest model with him now as well. Now the closest model is gonna be these Morlocks slash Iowa Seal. So we're gonna move around the corner, two, and then around the corner again, four, like so. And we'll chuck another smoke grenade at eight, as far towards this as possible. 17 or less. And it goes out. So we're gonna place it right there. So regular orders now, I'm gonna flip a command token and then flip an order in the main pool, down to seven, and do a coordinated order. Isabel's gonna be the leader, and then we're gonna actually include this grunt. We are going to include, can't include him, we're gonna include this grunt. We're gonna include the, who else? Nobody else, I think that's it. And we're gonna include this count. First shot to go, she's gonna come around the corner, move as far towards that box as possible. She's gonna come out four, and end up here. Her buddy, the tank hunter, or the, uh, sorry, the grunt's gonna do the same thing. Just get him behind her, like so. Don't remain prone, and move two, which will not quite get him into base to base with this. He'll do the same thing. So no arrows so far, second short skills. Uh, he's gonna move an inch just to be in base to base. He's gonna move an inch, actually he can move two inches, which will be around to be in base to base. Isabel's gonna move four more, which will put her here. Whoop, like so. Uh, Grunt's only gonna move two, because he's slow. And up here, so just two inches back from her. She's still the spirit leader. Let me go over to some irregular orders. We are going to use Mr. Dogface over here. Uh, he's gonna move again and go four and put himself up next to Usha, not Usha, um, what's her name, Isabel. And then he's gonna try and throw a smoke grenade right on top Fingerless of again. Come on, buddy. Yay, fumbles, gets Drop it. Dropping smoke right on top of here. Reactivate uh, Isabel again, or do I wanna do coordinated? No, we're just gonna activate Isabel. She's gonna move, move, so she's gonna move four. Once again, I know there's no line of sight, so going to here. And then her second short skill, she's gonna move four again and place herself up against this wall. Right here. So flipping another order, Isabel's gonna attempt a data scan of that HVT. Uh, and we'll do that on a 10 or less, because it's minus three to row power. Two, we do it. So that's gonna prog data scan, which means I will get a objective point for that at the end of the game. Another regular order, and we're gonna move this camel marker over here. And he's gonna move into the smoke and hopefully into base to base with that thing, which he has four inches to do, which is lots. Like so, so staying inside the smoke. Like MSV1, that does, oh, nothing yeah. in this game. So the Grenzer has MSV1, which will not ignore this, but he doesn't have line of fire anyway. So I'm gonna reveal this cam marker to be a Foxtrot. And Mr. Foxtrot is going to search that container. Normal roll for Foxtrot, he's willpower 13 to search it. He does. It's gonna be searched by Ariadna now. We're gonna spend another one on Usha, or sorry, on uh, Isabel. She's gonna go walk into base to base with this. 
and she's going to search it. R13. She does. Okay, so we are now going to spend another order in the main pool. This camel marker is going to stand at the start of its first movement skill and then walk up into contact with this over here, like so. Arrows, you should have lots. So in ARO, Clockmaker's gonna try and discover. She's gonna dodge with smoke. Uh, he's and going to- hold, hold and hold. Delay arrows, okay? And hold, and, well, delay. Yeah. Cool, my second short skill is nothing. So I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna stand there. And discover and you can dodge with your smoke. Okay. So where's your smoke going before you roll? Smoke is going to right over here. Okay. You actually technically need to declare that when you do your arrow. Because yeah. that way, if, if I do decide to go chicken, you can block all your last sights, which is nice. <laughs> you can spook people. Yep. So do your discover. So Clockmaker is going to have against him just my camel, because um, I wasn't in contact, and you can right. try and spot me anywhere, and you'll be within 32. So it's a zero mod, minus three. So get and 12 or less. Yep, 12 or less. You got it. So I'm now revealed to be this guy. I will also cancel this marker, which is his ambush camo. So physical 13 now for the smoke, plus three, because we're in eight inches. That'll get it, it means a 16, and the smoke is now down. So this group is now successfully smoked, basically, and can no longer see me, and I am standing out in the open. Put another uh, thing on him, and he is going to hold or move zero, basically, this first short skill. All right, so all three of these guys taking shots against me. Yep. Um, I'm gonna split my fire with my HMG. I'm gonna put one into the rocket launcher. I'm gonna put one into the sniper and two into the sniper. One, one and two, it's four shots total. So starting with the neurosynetic guy, he gets two shots. He'll be at plus three for range, minus six for my cover. So minus three overall. So I'm gonna be at plus three for range and I'll ignore the cover for marksmanship level two. So I'm gonna hit on 15s. So you get two shots on 10s, I get one on 15. Oh, uh, I hit you once. Damage 15, you get your armor plus three for the cover. I don't ignore the armor part of cover, just the to hit part. Okay, so he's armor three, so I'm getting- Six, so you have to beat a nine. Good. Oh, he's religious. Oh, he's fine. Do the two against this fellow now. So once again, I'll need 15s. Okay, and one back at you. So he, Grenzer, the BS 13. Plus so three, need... minus six. What kind of ammo are you gonna use with your multi snipe? Oh, uh, we will use double action. Okay, makes sense. The best one to use an arrow. All right, so you've got one shot, I've got two, I get 10 and 20, oh. you get 20, so the 10's gonna hit you. So armor plus three, so you got six, you to be nine, he's good, uh, guts test, or is he religious? He is not religious. Uh, he's fine, and that's one under the rocket. So one against 10 for the rocket launcher, and I got a 15 again, 18's gonna miss, you hit me once. I am armor two plus three for cover, and you did it in hit mode, so that's yes. what? 15. Is it explosive? It is not. So okay. 15 fire, so uh, I get a total of five, um, I have to reduce, I have to be a 10 here. I do. Uh, making a guts test. We are going to go back to the baby pool and we're going to do this irregular order on this werewolf man. Um, and he is going to move. We're going to go four, this wall. No one can see. We're going to go four again. Around here. Roop, just stay inside the smoke. Yo ham dog face. He's going to come out of the smoke. Going four inches. Going over here. What you gonna do? I can't take cover anyway, so there's no point in being in it. So we're just gonna go ham on each other. So it's gonna be chain rifle on me. Chain rifle, um, chain rifle. Combi rifle. Combi rifle and yeah. rocket Everybody shoot werewolf. Man. Second short skill, I'm actually just going to do a template on each. So one template down on them, one template up the top. It's all normal rolls, so you should be at plus three with your combi rifle. So um, probably hitting me on 15s or maybe uh, 14s. Fragger seal. Other seal will be 14. Okay, so one shot on 14. Cranks me, I'm armor one. So I need to beat a 12 here. I do! Werewolf Man just takes a shot. You hit me with the chain rifle automatically, I gotta beat a 12. I don't, I transform into a werewolf at the end of this activation, and then your rocket launcher. So zero mod for the rocket launcher, so you just get whatever your BS is. BS 13. Nope. This is not Werewolf Man. <laughs> and you get double chain rifled, so let's resolve those. So she's armor two. So beat an 11. Does, uh, guts test. Uh, she is gonna drop prone. Oh, oh, she's fine. She passes actually. Sorry. All right. Hello, Seal. He is. Da, 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 da. Where am I looking here? Armor one. So we need to be twelve. He's unconscious. Okay. Just a shame because he's a paramedic. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one carrying. Oh it. no no no! Sorry, he's my photo observer. Okay. Um, and the Morlock. That is the lizard. He's plus six BTS. Doesn't matter right now. So nope. he's armor one. So turn eleven again. Unconscious. Put another order on that guy because he's doing pretty good so far. Uh, and he's gonna super jump on top of this. So he gets to go uh, six inches with super jump now, so four and then two. So he's gonna land himself 
right here. That's all sorts of arrows. What's up, everybody? So arrows. All right. Uh, dodge smoke. Um, combi rifle. Sniper, sniper. Combi rifle. Combi rifle. Uh, she can't see because of the infinitely tall woods. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So but he can. Yep. For sure. So combi rifle there. And we'll throw a heavy rocket launcher at it. Why not? Why not? I'm going to double chain rifle your rocket launcher. All right. All kinds of normal rolls. So go for it. Start right. shooting me. Hang on. What are we? Last round of the rocket looking for 10 or less. Nope. Misses. Okay. Start with snipers. Okay. You're going to be. You're inside 16. So be a minus three. Yep. Minus three on two shots. Ballistic yep. skill on the Sin Eater is 13. So two more tens. This no. Misses. This is a. You gave me bad dice, man. I didn't mean to give bad dice. You gave me my <laughs> dice. All right. And then your other guy, is he within 16 or is he outside? Uh, he should be outside. Yeah. Oh, and then we got a couple over here yep. as well. Yeah, he's just good. That's like yep. 17. So he's at plus three. Plus three, single die. So looking for a 16, I think. Yep. Hit. Yep. Hits. Okay, okay, I ignore double action because of total immunity. So you're 15 down by my armor of three, I believe. 12. I don't think it won't you within 16, so he's going to get to hit me on a 14 or less. Duke, got to be a 10. So Minus 3 for the last thing with Seal, so he's going to need an 8. Yep. Because he's a crazy long range. 6, gets it, got to be a 10. I don't, take another wound, I'm unconscious. So he's going to be unconscious, and you get your special dodge smoke. And that's what, just flat ballistics, or flat... Plus 3 uh, if it's with 8, so it's your physical plus 3. Physical plus 3 there, physical 13, looking for a 16. Crash right, goes out, and then we get to resolve the two chain rifle hits on the rocket launcher. <sighs> My poor Beating 11 twice here with the rocket launcher. She's, she's out cold. So, uh, I have an order left in each pool on my lieutenant order. Uh, so we're going to spend an order in this last pool, because first werewolf is dead. For second werewolf to go get himself somewhere safe. 4-4, four, four. so just moving 4, and then 4 again. We know it's all in line of sight. Get himself over here. Command token and my last regular order to coordinate a bunch of suppression fires. All right, so we're gonna have one, two, three, and four guys on suppression fire here. Uh, not gonna use my lieutenant order. Mm, nope, we're not gonna bother. And that means that not everyone is on suppression fire. Actually, sorry, I just did the suppressor wrong. He can't be on suppressor fire because he's in a different combat group, which means this guy's gonna be on suppressor fire. The count in orders, we've got two, four, six, seven in the main pool. We got two in the little pool, plus two regulars, and you're impetuous. So you're impetuous, highly impetuous, going off first. Yep. So she's gonna hop over through the mobile brigada, four towards my dog face, who's the closest model. And your second short skill is? I will pop some smoke. All right, so you can throw it at any point along your move. Yep. And where you wanna put it? We will put it right here. Makes sense. Yep. So 17 or less for the physical 14. That's with an eight. Or physical 13, sorry. Okay, so 16 or less. 16 or less, you got it. She's the end of her move. Um, now, that was actually gonna be face to face with my suppressing okay. dude who arrows. You got eight there. Um, I'm gonna just pump shots into you. Uh, I got four. Uh, I'll be at plus three for range, no cover mods. Let's see if it cancels any. It's gonna cancel this one. These both fail. The 10 will cancel it though, actually. So you're gonna take one making an armor roll, see if she shrugs it. Oh, she does not, so she's dogged. Do you wanna keep spending orders on her? She's gonna drop into dogged, because she rolled that with her meta chemistry, and we will resolve the next Morlock. Oh. Yep, um, the closest guy's gonna be the, what's his yep. face, the little dude. Okay, um, now she has super jump, so. She's just gonna jump She's gonna down. have to super jump, I would think. Yep, she doesn't have to go the whole way though, so you can just go four down if you wanted to do something else afterwards. She's gonna drop. Yep. It's exactly four inches, and that means that she can now do a second short skill. So I'll declare that I'm going to suppress a fire into you as you come around. Okay. Um, and then he is also going to try and smoke you with his HMG. Here. And she's going to dodge smoke with eight inches. So you get a 16 or less again. I'm going to get a uh, four shot. Okay, four. Well, passes. <laughs> um, I'm going to get three shots with the combi uh, at zero mod because I'm within 16. Uh, so those all hit, and those will all cancel that four. So you're going to get shot three times with HMG. Or sorry, with a combi rifle. Twelve three times. Okay. That's not happening. You yeah, explode. She gets pasted, and we've got all of the impetuous now done. All regular orders on one. All right. So DA rounds, uh, he's going to move zero. I will react by breaking my suppression, I think, because I don't really have a choice, because I'm out of 24 inches, I think, um, and shooting back. All right. And yeah, we're oh, so actually, you're at plus three. You we're just, exactly twenty-four. You just moved that thing. You Did were you it? weren't a second ago when I okay. moved it. Yeah, 
It's fine. There you there. go. Yeah, when, no, I, when I measured still, it a second ago, yeah. I knew I was. My suppression to far back. I'm going to get a single shot at plus three. I ignore the cover. You know, mimetism. You're going to get plus three as well, but with cover in play and mimetism. Does he have a visor? He doesn't have mimetism. No, I do. Oh, I right. do. Um, so you, uh, you're at plus three minus six. I'm yeah. at uh, plus three total. So one on 15, you get two uh, minus three. So I think tens. So remembering that he has an MSV, you're only minus three for my cover because you ignore my uh, my camo. So you're at minus three, plus three, so straight rolls, two of them. I'm at plus three um, because I ignore your cover. Uh, you don't have mimetism, so I'm just hitting on 15s with one shot. And I'm hitting on 13s with two. Uh, get hit once. I'm not using these dice anymore. Okay. Off the Nomad dice because apparently they don't like Mike. He is now using the Pano dice. All right, so make one. Don't use Nomad dice. Use the nice Pano dice. There you yeah. go. Because apparently they're better. So um, <laughs> you have one armor roll to make. Fifteen against your armor of six with the cover included. So you have to beat a nine. Good guts. So you switch to the red dice when you want to roll low. You're drop prone. Standing up, he's going to do it again. Uh, so standing up for zero move, um, I will react with my Spetsnaz, try and shoot you again. And I will shoot twice. So one dice on 15 to your two on 13. Crit! I'm unconscious. Roll as well, which I don't cancel. So if I go past unconscious, I am dead. Um, and it's double action. So I actually have to make three armor rolls here at armor of five. So beating ten three times where I'm just blown away. Ah, uh, no, I failed. I'm dead. Headshot. So we're going to fire a med kit with the Ava seal over into this fellow. Eleven or less. Cranks him, so now he gets to make a physical at minus three, and he get, regains a wound. All right, and he is physical, so looking for an eight. He does. Now seals back online. We're spending a regular order and a command token to coordinate. So the yeah. Brigada is going to be the spearhead leader, and then we get to move three other guys. Yeah, so, so it's going to be Clockmaker and the two seals. Yes, yeah, so the seal here and that one. Cool. So do clear your first short skills. First short skill, we move. Cool. Moving up four. Again, the rooftops are clear oh, now. Right. We put blue tech down because so. you because you didn't want them to fall. There you go. Okay. And again, the Spetsnaz is down, everybody else is prone, so nobody's going to have line of sight. Come on. That's actually should have been a little bit further, but I'm afraid to tip this terrain over. <laughs> or the wall. Yeah, so right about here, just hug the corner. Second short skill, because there's no ARO's. Uh, second short skill will also be move. Okay. Get up four. Right, so I can get him right up to the box. Perfect. And he's just going to kind of come up and provide some cover. Hug the wall. Last I was seeing. Hug this wall. Sounds good. Over here. Going from wall. Spending one of the clockmaker. He's going to try and open the box up. Willpower 15. And he's an engineer, so 18. Good. That's going to belong, that's going to, belong to the nomads. Yeah, let's have him decharge. That's another. It's just automatic. It's now. We're actually not going to plant that, but he will have gone prone um, at the start of his move when he searched that just to get him in a line of fire. And that leaves you with three orders in the main. We're going to reveal the Grenzer. Yeah, he's going or to not move. the Grenzer, the Spectre. He's going to Spectre, sorry. He's going to move into this thing and yep. search it. You're rolling the willpower test. His willpower is. 14. Okay. Regular order on the dogged um, Warlock. And she's going to start moving so she can go four, four. and four again. So four. Four to here, that's gonna not provoke anything from nope. anyone. And, you to go and she's gonna come now. hug this wall. Using the last order in that pool, she's gonna go charge this box. Alright. And with her dying breath, sort it. Like Khan from Hell's Heart. Stop All right. Roll a close combat, see if you get a crit. Oh, the martial arts level two as well. Sweet, so you can go plus three, so now you're 25. Okay. So if you roll a 15 or better, you just crit the thing. Okay. And double action, so two dice, or? It'll be just... two dice to damage afterwards. So okay. one attack, and then two dice to damage if you hit it. All right. And you will auto hit it, basically, but a 15, you crit one. So one armor roll gets failed sure automatically. Well, 15 or better, you get the crit. You don't, but it's two armor rolls. Armor one, what's your physical? 13? Physical 13. Okay, so I have to beat 12s twice with the box. Oh, uh, yeah, physical 13. So. Okay, so 12s twice. Uh, don't beat them either time. So it's destroyed. It goes from damage to destroyed, and that is one for you. So I'll just put that as a marker of your victory. Excellent. Three orders left. Um, what a command token. Regular and order. order. We're going to join the Mole Brigada, the Aloha Seal back here. Yep. The Spectre. Okay. And you know the other Aloha Seal. Okay. Why not? And they're going to go do some stuff. They're going to do some stuff. Okay. For short skill. For short skill, be move. Move. He's gonna go four four. Does this impair us in any way? Uh, you can't move through that. You can move through the uh, the clockmaker though. Okay. Freely. So I can just kind of come. Oh right. Yep. Blue tacked. That's right. You take that off now, I guess. Yep. Okay, so he's so basically four. on his prone marker. Yep. <laughs> and then four again. You can ignore the you can ignore the little stuff, but yeah. the um yeah, so the size thing. of those things is too big. So that's her four hugging the wall. Um. Sorry, the Spectre, he's just going to kind of shimmy around the corner here so he's not 
Ooh, okay. Oh, would that have provoked him? No, nope, not yet, because we've okay. declared that underneath yeah, this is That was the intent, is. was that he would not have done that. Ooh, okay. Sorry, did I... No, then this, oh, there, this other skill back here. That's right. Uh, so she's going to come up and hug this corner. Second short skills. Second short skill. Well, Regatta's going to move. He's just going to start going four. Um, you can just hop right over that. Yeah, we got some stuff in the way, so let's move here. It's less than your silhouette at all. You can just move right through it. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Um... Yeah, about... Well, he's... Is his big unconscious body in the way? Uh, you can move through it, Okay. so you can't end on top of so, it. So... Alright. We're good there, then. So moving zero, and Spectre will also move zero. Okay. We're gonna run the mobile regatta. He's gonna move. Move, move four, four inches, so that's gonna be to the, right to the edge. And he's gonna try and wax my, uh... Dude, it looks like. Well, yep. I'm gonna suppress a fire, but you flamethrowered, um, and I'm gonna try and shoot you with normal rolls. So I'm at plus three for range uh, because of the suppression at eight inches, and then minus three for cover. Um, I could probably technically shoot you before you touch it, but I'm gonna say I probably couldn't see you when you did that. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's gonna mean straight dice. He's actually opting not for the light flamethrower because the, the option for shooting me is actually slightly better. He gets three shots on his BS and he can actually cancel mine this way versus yeah. one auto hit at the same strength. And this way he gets shocked too, which means I'll get headshot and just dead with your multi-rifle. Um, so uh, I get three on 11s. You've got three on... Um, 13 plus 3. Yeah, minus 3 for my camo, so straight dice. Straight dice. Alright, strand 11, strand 13s. Oh, sorry, your minus 3 is again for suppression as well. Okay. You hit twice anyway. Yep. Um, 2 and 4, I need 11s here, because my range cancels out the cover. And I fail one crit! So I crit once, and then I'll cancel both those. So you take a wound, it's for the Brigada. He's good. Last order, we're going to do it again. Yep. So 3 on 11s, you've got 3 on 10s, because you've got the suppression still. Uh, you're going to hit me once, I'm going to get cancelled and get hit once. So 13, my armor a 1, I get a beat of 12, or Shock's going to put me under. I do! A pass! This is going to go into turn 2 area, now let's count the orders. Order pool's down to 9 regulars in the big pool, because I lost my Spetsnaz, and then I've lost a Werewolf, which means I'm down to 1 irregular and 3 regulars in the little pool. I'm Werewolf first, and I'm going to come around the corner and head directly towards him. So I'm going to get arrowed by him and him it looks like, and she's blocked by her friend. Uh, the yes. same silhouette style. Yeah. So four inches, one, and then three directly towards him. It just depends how far around the corner you came. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna end up right <laughs> here. Right. I'm gonna dodge smoke. Yeah. All right. Try and put it on top of his head, just far enough back that it actually hits both of them. You've got snipe and combi. So combi at plus three is gonna need a fourteen to hit me, and then sniper at I'm within sixteen. You can shoot me as I come around the corner. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Okay. Um, so you can get your plus three no matter what. So I need a seventeen. A pass with a four. It's not very good, but it passes. Oh, Seal's gonna be sorry. He's a little 14. Little, uh, 14, yeah. He cranks me, and then the other guy. Grenzer, 13 plus 3. So for 16, we get that as well. Oh, Alright, so I get double actioned once, and then I get uh, combi rifled once. The combi rifle I have to beat a 12. I don't take a wound, I transform a giant wolf if I don't survive this. Um, and then armor 1 against 15, beat 14 twice for the sniper rifle, double action. No, I'm dead. Super unconscious. Well, that wasn't so good. <laughs> so let's do some other things. Let's go with Mr. Uh, this guy over here. Let's do her. Um, so this one, they're gonna flip a main pool order, and this cow marker is going to move through her friend uh, to this corner right here. Right like so. Staying out of line of fire. is gonna reveal itself to be Usha, and Usha's gonna throw a smoke grenade right here get moved around uh so she is going to drop that smoke grenade right there um and she needs a physical 16 sorry 16 or less to do it that smoke it. goes out uh and then we're gonna spend another order on her she's gonna plant a d charge on this so we're gonna spend another skill and this fellow right here is going to remaining prone break his suppression and inspect his box we're last to inspect i do this uh guy's gonna reveal himself with another order as a he's gonna remain prone as a tank hunter, and he's gonna put a, a demo charge on that. Let's put another order. This camel marker is going to stand up and walk to here. So you've got it looks like the clockmaker. Yeah. Actually, sorry, we're on the exact same level. The clockmaker can't see me because there's a railing in the way, and we consider these railings solid. Okay. Um, but you've got him, him, and probably him who can all see. The bride is attempt to discover. These two are gonna try and hold. Uh, I'm gonna reveal this to be a tank hunter auto cannon and surprise shot. The fellow without the MSV. So, um, we have 
your two guys who delayed ARO, what would they like to do now? They will both fire. They will both fire me. Awesome. Shot in each. Um, so I'm at, uh, I think, plus three for range, because it's a crazy range. So you're at minus three for my camo. You're at minus three for surprise shot. And you're at minus three for cover. So that's minus nine. Right. Um, you're plus three for range for minus six. Um, and that's it. An additional minus three because he ignores. Camo, he ignores my. He'll ignore my camo. That's right. Yeah. So he'll be at minus six plus three. He'll be at minus nine plus three. So we'll do this one first. Yep. So yep. you're at minus six overall with two shots. I'm at plus three minus three. So I'm at one shot on twelve. I miss. You miss as well. So the other fellow who is it? Sorry. Unless you're sixteen, you miss. Right no. shot. I'm on twelve. You're on minus three. So you need tens. Yep. I miss, you hit, and it's double action, so two armor rolls. He is armor three, I believe, so six. Nine twice. I don't and I do, so I go unconscious. Another order in the big pool. Dr. Firex gonna crawl over here, remaining prone. It's gonna fuck put this guy's legs back on. Willpower roll! Come on, Dr. Firex, willpower 13. Does. He's back online. So we are going to move uh, into the smoke with Usha, four inches. So we are now standing into the smoke. Right here. So he can attempt to change facing, but it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to move another four inches, maintaining in the smoke. So we're not going to head out of the smoke. So just to the maximum edge of the smoke here, like so. so just put another order on Usha. She's going to clear the smoke, moving sideways like so. Um, and now we're out of line of fire of Mr. Sniper Rifle because we were at the beginning of our move. She would be in line of fire, however, of this. Other Iowa Seals. So two Iowa Seals can try yeah. to take shots on me. I'm going to crank a shotgun around into each of them with my boring shotgun. So let's do that. Uh, yep. So I'll be at plus six for range. And I'll be at plus three. Yep. And that means Usha is going to need 17s. And I need 14s. Uh, you're at minus three for my camo though. Right. So you'll be at 11s. Okay. So the first Iowa Seal up front, 11 to 17. Uh, you fail, I hit. So you take a boring shotgun round, which is 14 AP. Doesn't do anything for the AP though, so just beat a 13. Unconscious. The other Iowa Seal around the corner. So again, you're in cover now. Um, so I'm not going to get uh, plus six, I'm going to get plus three. So 14 or less, you'll be at 11 again. I miss, you hit. Armor one. Uh, Usha. Armor zero, actually, sorry, so I have to beat a 13. I don't, I'm unconscious. I'm just command token for no reason because I get so excited about Usha, I forgot to move the rest of my coordinate, guys. Command token back? It actually doesn't even matter. Like, okay. it, it's irrelevant. It okay. doesn't do anything. The only thing I would have done was move him six okay. inches up to here. All right, go for like it. Like that, that's fine. Go order in the regular pool. He's going to move four, four, or six story behind the smoke and just be behind here because there's no line of fire. Heroes in the little pool aren't doing much for me right now, but I guess I'll use two of them to move, move over here, or one of them to, yeah, sorry, one of them to move two inches and then move two inches over to this, staying prone. I'm gonna spend another one to actually move this fellow right here into base to base with here. So coming out of here, in the base base with this, would you like to try and shoot me? I think you the sniper can see me. You can see me as I cross yeah, the gap. So I'm gonna try and dodge my second short scope. Uh, so I don't get to move, but I'm already in base to base with what I wanna be in. So that's going to mean I get to make a physical test on physical of for a line Kazakh. Thir 13? 11. Right. So you get plus three for range. I'm not in any kind of cover for either. So the right. total reaction guy, let's we'll see what I get first, see if you can even, if this is even relevant. 11. Nine, all right, so you have to beat a nine with both these rolls. All right, so starting with the Sin Eater, da -da, whip 13 plus three, so 16. So BS 13, yeah. So the six is gonna fail because of my nine. The yep. 12 is gonna pass. And then the other one? The other one, uh, same number, 16. It's gonna fail. So I take two, two double action rounds, or one double action round, sorry. Yep. Uh, armor one, so I need to beat 14 twice. My <laughs> two! Oh. oh my goodness, guts test, willpower 13. I pass. And my last one in the small pool, I'm gonna attempt to search this thing while you attempt to shoot me with your sin eater. The sin eater's gonna shoot me. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some murdering on. Now, I will be in cover this time because I do get a scenery structure cover from this, uh, which gives you minus three to your plus three, so straight rolling. Um, I have to make a willpower test, which is on 10. All right, so 13 straight for you, 10 for me. I fail, you hit me twice, uh-oh. Uh, so at least I get armor now, so beating 11's twice. Nope, I go unconscious. One of those can double action. Then I'm dead. 
exploded. Now out of orders, so it is on to turn two nomads. So we are bringing in an AD combat jump. We are. One towards the center of the table, and you place it anywhere inside the template, and then you All right, so we've placed, and now you can roll the scatter, make your physical test. And she's physical. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna physical attempt. Well. I'm attempt to hack your aircraft. All right. So hacking the transport aircraft and ARO. I'm at minus six to my whip, which means I am at seven. Uh, so seven or less for me. You've got your physical of twelve. Twelve, and it's face to face. Nine, I fail, and you pass. Oh, anyway, right there. Um, he is not within zone of control. They're not within zone of control, so nobody's gonna react. Spotlight the HVT. All right, so we're gonna attempt to spotlight order the HVT with the assault, uh, assault hacking device. Ten or less, the spotlight. No. Nope. On the uh, mobile regatta, he's gonna move zero. I'm gonna suppress with fire him, and then he's gonna try and wax me. Elevens, I'll be uh, hitting on tens. straight elevens as well. Tens, okay, so yep. tens to elevens. Tens to elevens, yeah. Uh, so one on a one. I crit you for other wounds, and you have to make another armor roll. Oh, Mobile Regatta. Uh, so your armor is currently seven, so beat a uh, 13 minus seven, beat a six. You get Foxtrot ever, but you got a dock. We want to move over here. Provoking no yeah. arrows, I'm guessing? Nope, well, you okay. could just be prone if you wanted to, even you were close enough. Yeah. I'm kidding, his physical is? 14. So 11 or less. He's the best Foxtrot ever, just love him. He's got to win. Flip another and try and kill he you. hasn't learned his lesson yet. He's going to do it again. Here comes Mr. Murder Gods again, plus your minus three. You get one at four. I get one at six. I didn't crit you. I just got one okay. at six. The two gets canceled. All right. Armor roll. All right. Armor roll. Uh, 11? I think you're good. Yeah. So Mr. Mo Brigada is going to move now, maintaining cover with this box in the so cover. So we that. Yeah, and then he'll go in a line of fire at some point. Uh, we're guessing probably around here, but it means he'll get covered in that whole move. Uh, I'm going to suppress the fire on the way by. And I will fire back as my second order. Okay. So again, I'm at plus three. Uh, you're still in cover, so zero mod, basically, 11s. And you're going to get your plus three, minus three for my camel. And minus three for suppression, so minus six. Yeah. So, so eleven. my 11s. Oh, I, I got two that time. I got two as well, and they and both you cancel both yours. Three? So two armor rolls for you. Oh my god. It's going to be a busy paramedic, I think. <laughs> so roll. You're at armor seven. seven. You need to beat sixes. You're fine. That's last turn two. You're fine. Didn't make it out of my line of sight, though. So now he can do something else if you want. Probably move, move. Okay, we'll so he'll want to move. move. Uh, trying to set a line of fire. Now you will get seen when you hit this bridge. You think so? Uh, from him, for sure. Okay, and I. So for a short skill, yep, yeah, I can definitely see him. He's gonna flamethrow me just to make sure he hits me at least once, and I'm gonna try and suppress him. So these are normal rolls now. Uh, plus three, uh, I will hit you before you hit the cover, so it's plus three, so 14s. Uh, I hit you three times, so three armor rolls. You need to beat sixes. You're unconscious, that's a six. So now you're gonna have a busy paramedic, but you flame yeah. me. Uh, damage 13, I gotta beat a 12. I do. Three armor zero, so now he's gonna be unconscious. Over there. There you go. Armor back. One. All right, and he's going to move up four. Anyone? Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing. Nothing can see. No, everybody's prone. Okay, moving up the other four. Hang on, there we go. Can't quite get to the crates, but that's okay. Another. And moving up an additional four, and that's not going to quite get me there. It's about five away. Okay, so there's an inch in front of it. Yeah, so we're stopping about here. Moving to base, try and search it. It's his final order to do a search. And that's just what flat whip for him. Uh, minus three, unless he's an engineer. And uh, he is not. He's a four observer. Okay, so strip minus three. Are you fourteen? No, I'm not. Actually, normal roll wasn't minus three. It's just a bonus for being an engineer. So you now claim that one too. So we are tied for searches. Opting not, not to use his lieutenant then. So let's count my order pool and we'll start turn three Ariadna. So we've got seven in the big pool, two in little pool. All the wolves are down. I've got one command token left and a lieutenant order. I am not going to burn my command token transferring anybody because I don't think it's worth my while. Um, I'm going to start the turn spending one regular order and one command token to move some guys. Um, so first thing we are going to make Isabel the uh, spearhead leader. So Isabel's gonna be the spearhead leader. She is going to move as her first short skill. And she will move four. Over to here. Then we are going to move this fella. He's going to move two. He's going to remain prone. 
Yeah, he's going to move to here. Staying Tank Hunter's going to remain prone. He's going to move to over to this stair. Staying on the ground. Breaking Suppression, the Dozer is going to move, and he is going to move four straight backwards, staying out of line of sight. And a second short skill, and the, the funny thing about this is, I've picked all models with decharges, because I can ripple detonate everything that I've decharged. So she's gonna detonate this one. If I'd done this smart, I actually would have not done this coordinated yet, and have her walk over to this one and plant. Um, and we'll search in plants, but I'll still have to do that anyway. So uh, this ripple detonation is going to go off. So it's explosive plus AP on this. You want to roll for them. Uh, they're armor one, so they have to beat 15. They have to beat 14s three times. If they take two, they're dead. Okay. So one more roll. Yeah. Just one. Sorry. Three, I missed. three dice because it's explosive. Dice, yeah. uh, it doesn't. So this one's going to belong to me. <laughs> the other one over here, going off. It fills three, so it's going to be gone as well. So now Isabel's gonna get another order that puts me down to five. She's going to move over to here, four inches. Actually, sorry, she's gonna move two to here. She's gonna, well, sorry, yeah, she's gonna go prone at the first move and then she's gonna move two to here, just to be safe. Cause I'm probably shorter than this, but I'm not sure if I am or not. So that's first short skill of two, going to there. And now I maintain cover with this, moves two with my second short skill. That's gonna put me here. Oop. Another order for her. She's gonna have to move twice to get in the base to base of this, but she will. Maintaining cover. Stay Three orders up. left. She's gonna auto plant a decharge, which is a short skill. Uh, and then she's gonna plant a decharge, which is a short skill. I wonder if I can do those at the same time. I don't think I can. Search. She's willpower 13. She passes, so it's yeah. do both those at the same time. Uh, and she'll spend one more order. No, she doesn't wanna move. She's gonna have somebody else blow this thing because there's other people that wanna go do stuff. Continue to spend orders on Isabel. We're gonna try and get back to where we were, basically. Um, so I'm going to risk standing up here and taking a shot from the Sin Eater. Yeah. And we're going to move, maintaining cover. Do you want to just grab a silhouette and double check? I, I'm 90% like sure. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm too tall. So okay. See so I'm going to go four over to here. We've got an arrow from here and an arrow from here, um, both of which are going to be to fire. Isabel's just going to move again. Okay. So it's normal rolls. Uh, so you've got plus three, minus three for the cover over here. So you're just straight rolling on me. Go for right. it. Two straight, thirteen. One hit. On. All right. And so double action on that. Double action armor. I think zero on this. Armor five. She has to be tens twice here. Do it. No, she's unconscious. She will complete her move over right to there. Yeah, that short skill. And then you get one crazy long range shot. That's like, yeah, like crazy long range shot. Uh, Twenty six with combat rifle is going to be a minus three of my already low ballistic skill of eleven. So looking for an eight. Okay. And then also cover. Yep. It's looking for a five. I've Almost. Got things I have to do now. So second last order in the big pool. We're gonna activate him. He's gonna try and debt this. Set a line of fire. Beat 14 three times, or at least twice. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Going to. Uh, so my last order in that pool, I'm actually gonna walk over to Isabel with this guy. So you can try and ARO me as I go over. Mm-hmm. Uh, maintain and cover with the wall. Arrow and arrow. Okay. All right, so the Grenzer, minus three for cover, plus three for range, unless I was within 16. You're getting your plus three, minus three, so straight roll. 13, and we're good. Okay, so that's gonna crank me. Um, so I'm gonna have to take double action. Armor three, plus three for cover is six. Gotta beat nine twice. Don't, I'm unconscious. And that's that. Little pool, but nothing to do with them. So I guess for funsies, we'll just spend them to put the two dudes on suppression. So surprising, just for funsies. So there's in the main pool, two in the small pool. And somewhere there's a lieutenant order, which I may or may not use. Last yeah. command token. Yes, from the last command token, moving the Hellcat hacker into the primary order pool. So with Neurosynex only getting one shot in active turn, yeah. he's gonna try and kill this box. Um, so he's got a single shot, you're in short range, are you within eight? Mm -hmm. Backwards, and so that's a zero mod. And that's like move and hug a different wall. Sure, it's going to be minus uh, nothing, so zero to hit. And that's just a straight roll. Single shot. Uh, should we know this by now? It's 13, right? Yeah, 13. Okay, 13 or less. So the uh, Hellcat is going to attempt a data scan onto this fellow. Yep. So that's a 13 minus 3, so that's going to be a 10. No. Gets espionage. Yeah. Activating the forward observer, I would seal. He's going to stare at my corpse. 10's here with two chances to try and forward observe my corpse. Because of minus 3 for my mimetism. 
You get two chances, you do it already. Doesn't you get matter. two chances? Yeah, burst two with okay. reserve. Oh, well, whatever. I got the first one, but... You're good, yeah. Well, I'm a treat, so we can call in a fire mission on my corpse, apparently. Okay. All right, so last order, or last, second last, no, fourth last order, he's going to place a decharge on yeah. this box, and then you're going to dead it not right away. Yeah, and then we're going to dead it again. Okay, so, so boom. it makes saves. It's got to make three saves, beating 14s. Uh, it has to make at least two. It makes all three. Yeah, two other luck. Your decharge just sputtered out, so you're going to play another one. Play another one. Blow it. Three saves. It's alive. So just it's game. Um, so counting objective points into the, the game. I got espionage on the HVT. Um, I got uh, three destroyed boxes, which is four. And then I currently hold one, two, three, four boxes to your one, two, three. Yep. Um, which means that I've got more than you for the end of the game, which is six. You've managed to climb by destroying one uh, for one, and then two uh, telemetry and espionages, which give you three. So it's going to be three, six at the end of the game. All right, so there we go. At the end of the game, five to three. Sorry, six to three, Ariadna. Um, we're good at button pushing. We are. Yeah, and you're good at sniping shit from far <laughs> away, which was pretty much the death of all my stuff that yeah. usually takes care sniping of Sniping was like my joy in this game. Sin Eater was awesome. Sin Eater actually held down yeah. the whole center for you. Yeah. Um, and I think that uh, both of us, I, I definitely made some boo-boos with my, I forgot which of the two classified objectives I had halfway through the game and realized I moved, um, what's, his, what's her face, uh, Isabel completely the wrong way. Yeah. I really should never have sent Usha around the corner. I should have gone back towards to blow this other objective. So I misspent some of my orders. Yeah. Um, and there was definitely, if you guys were watching it, Area Adna players, definitely some moments where you probably went like, what is he doing? Like, yeah. why is he even doing that? That makes no sense at all. There's probably one or two times where it would have made sense for me to just like shoot with my double action and blow up a box just so yeah. you didn't have the chance to get it. Yep, it didn't really absolutely. occur to me until like, after the game was over. Because I had almost no way to spot uh, yeah. your T.O. Camo guy. He could have probably just walked almost, because I was actually prone with most of this. He could have yeah. walked over there and just grabbed that box. Yeah. And been about. like, this is mine now. And then Sin Eater yeah. or the uh, Grenzer would have just been like, dead box, dead yeah. box, dead box. Yeah. But again, that's the nature of playing these missions. I think the more you play ITS missions, the better you get at them. Um, and the more you start to dial in your lists. And it's, again, very important why you post lists in ITS so that people have a chance to take things that they need to play those games. Yeah. So thanks again for coming and playing. Yeah. Um, we'll see you guys for more Infinity in the future. Uh, and again, if you want to challenge me or Mike to Infinity, Mike's email is epicduckstudios at gmail.com. Mine is grillmentorgames.gmail.com. Um, or any of the other many games we play. There's not a very many games we don't play. So if you just and want to play a game. if we don't play it, we're probably willing to. Willing to give it a try, exactly. Yeah. So we'll see you for more of this in the future. Thanks again for watching. Until then, happy board gaming.